In these problems, we're talking about another way to classify triangles, this time by their angles. Uh, you're probably aware of what a right triangle is. If you're not, it's a triangle that has one 90 degree angle in it. Um, because the angles in a triangle always add up to 180, there's 90 left over to split between the other two angles. So these are going to be less than 90. These are going to be what we call acute angles here. So that's a right triangle. There are two other types of triangle, an acute triangle and an obtuse triangle. An acute triangle has all of the angles less than 90 degrees. So all of the angles in this triangle are acute. They're less than 90 degrees. The other possibility is one of the angles could be greater than 90 degrees, and that we call an obtuse triangle. Angles that are greater than 90 are, are obtuse, so when you have one that's greater than 90, it's an obtuse triangle. Of course, you could never have a triangle that had more than one obtuse angle or more than one right angle, because that would um, add up to 180 or more and wouldn't leave anything left over for the other angles. So acute, right, and obtuse triangles. Let's try a couple of problems. This one says, name an acute triangle in this figure below here. And um, well, it looks like there are a couple of triangles here. This triangle, triangle BCD, has angles of 55, 60, and 65. They're all less than 90 degrees. If all of the angles are less than 90 degrees in a triangle, it's acute. This one over here, we have 35, 30, and 115. That's bigger than 90 degrees, so that's an obtuse triangle. So this one is obtuse. There is actually one more triangle in this figure. You could take the whole big triangle. This would be triangle ABC. And this is actually a right triangle. And this might be a sneaky thing. They might say, name an acute triangle and give you none of, none of these are right triangles as a choice. But look, 55 plus 35, that's 90 degrees. So this right here is a 90 degree angle. So watch out for that. A little, little bit of a trick there. Let's try a couple more. This type of problem asks you to name um, you know, the triangles, which, which names best describe each of these triangles. And before we even look at the answer choices, I'm just going to think about this. This one looks obtuse. That looks like it's greater than 90 degrees. So I think this is an obtuse triangle. Um, I see they've got words like scalene and isosceles in here. So I think this is also probably scalene. Um, this one looks like an, a right triangle. So for the second one, we're going to try to find a right triangle. It could be isosceles. It could be that these two sides are the same. I guess it's hard to tell without measuring. But let's see what our choices are. We could have scalene and right isosceles. Well, that would fit with what I was just saying. This could be scalene. This could be right isosceles. Here we have right isosceles again, but the first one would be isosceles. And isosceles, remember, means two sides are the same. I don't think that's the case on that one, so I think C is out. B says scalene and equilateral. Well, an equilateral triangle has all 60-degree uh, angles. So we have a 90-degree here, or what looks like a 90-degree, so it can't be that one. Oh, and this one says equilateral for the second one, too. So I guess it is scalene and right isosceles. All right, let's try one more. In this type of problem, we are just given the angle measures. Uh, and we're asked to classify it. So angles of 103, 57, and 20. What you should be looking for here is if there's a 90 degree angle, it's a right triangle. If they're all less than 90 degrees, it's an acute triangle. If there's one that's over 90 degrees, it's an obtuse triangle. So this one is an obtuse triangle. So that's a little bit of work with classifying acute, right, and obtuse triangles.